Hi, uh, this is just a quick little continuation video from my last one. Um, this time I've just got my uh, uh, photomultiplier um, tube with the scintillator, another, the older one, connected up to this uh, counter. But I've taken the output from the speaker and put it into the laptop. There's a piece of software here which is downloadable. It's quite old now but it's, it's really good. I'll, I'll show you some of the things it does. Uh, what I would suggest is buying a an external analog uh, sound uh, the USB device just in case obviously you've got over a KV here uh, you don't really want a KV ending up into one of the sound ports of your microphone port on your computer so if I turn this on and we have with this counter and then I run this software the, this, this, this can convert the peaks into a sound as well, so you get different sounds for different levels of detected energy levels. So I'll try this onto the source here. You still hear clicks from here, but you may hear other whistles and pops from, from here. Anyway, that I'm going to show you a bit more with that now shortly as well. Now, one of the problems with photomultiplier detectors is you, they don't generally detect alpha radiation. Um, if I switch this one on again and I place quite a strong alpha source there's no noticeable detection uh, basically because this has got tape around it to stop light going in whereas the, that's enough to stop alpha particles ending up in the counter. So I do have something very interesting on that line. This is a rather interesting eBay find. It's basically, it says alpha drawer unit. It has a slide here which you can put a sample into and slide it into detector. And as it suggests, it's for detecting alpha radiation. The interesting thing about this, this is a semiconductor detector. So this is a large silicon diode, basically a window here that is able to detect the alpha particles. Uh, and it's got uh, an amplifier built on here which will amplify the output running from 12 volts to give you a, a pulse output from that and all shielded nicely. So, um, let's see how it works. Okay, I've got this connected up. And one of the reasons this has an output that doesn't actually um, have any sound or anything so that's the reason that I'm using the, the laptop again. Um, so this time it's running on 12 volts and we can put a sample in here. So I've got an alpha source that's uh, a Mauritian. And if I place that in, and it's quite a busy source this. So right away we're getting an output. Now it's not calibrated so I'm, <laughs> I'm not quite sure how the sound or the, the graphs relate to it. I'll take the source out. So, now interestingly, there doesn't seem to be any detection from background radiation here, but I know it's sensitive to light. If I take this open, yeah, it starts to make a lot of noise, so there is a sensitivity to light. So, it does seem to have a lot of immunity to anything else. I mean, there are other sources, although this is a thick aluminium casing, it really doesn't pick up anything else I don't think. So I'm going to cover up the uh, semiconductor window here or the actual it's actually a, a wafer a silicon wafer here uh, and effectively uh, just a, a diode junction so I'm covering that up so that now no light will get in and therefore hopefully I can test it with other radiation sources Okay, it's, it's running just now and I have my thorium source and it doesn't detect that. And yet if I take this off slightly and let some light in. Yeah, so it's sensitive to light but it doesn't see the radiation from the thorium. Okay. In this setup we have our 
x-ray tube, this is at uh, 15 kV, so I'm not going to get too close to it. This is our detector under here. Uh, because of the voltage and it's a semiconductor, I've got a gap here. We've got it connected up to the laptop and I have a normally ge normal Geiger Mueller counter here just for the background. So I'm going to turn the, the heater up on the, the x-ray tube and see if we get any detection on our silicon detector. So we get a burst of x-rays but no detection on our silicon detector from that. So that's quite interesting that our semiconductor detector is quite uh, specific for alpha yet is light sensitive as well. Finally one last detector to look at. Um, this type is the Geiger Muller uh, detector uh, and I have one that's a more modern guy just, just now, Geiger counter just now. This one is one of these kind of eBay kits based around the Arduino uh, with an LCD display but I've hooked it up to a Russian uh, pancake uh, Geiger detector uh, and this is really proving to be very sensitive uh, and quite nice to play with. So that is the uh, pancake detector set up. It just runs off a, a 9 volt battery. And it get, because it has a, a large mica window here, it makes it sensitive to uh, alpha radiation. I'll use the alpha source again seems to easily pick that up. Uh, again, because that's quite a large area, if I bring up our uh, thorium gas mantle, it's quite alarming that one. <laughs> Finally I've got this piece of uranium glass, which is actually not that strong, but it's very easily picked up by that pancake Geiger tube. Okay, thanks for watching.